Hi friends, it's me Valerie from Valerie's Resales and I am back with another unboxing for you guys today. Today I'm doing one of my favorite type of unboxings, an electronic box. A good old electronic box, hoping it's full with goodies, some good stuff that I can sell really, really soon, especially since we are in the fourth quarter and it is time to sell stuff for the holidays. I've had this box sitting here for about two weeks now. Just life got in the way, so to speak. Things with school, kids' games, things at work, things like that, which delayed me being able to do this unboxing. I've been waiting for a while. I wanted you guys to really see this. And so, and I wanted to see what all was in it because I don't remember what was in this so called mystery box, even though it has a manifested list of things inside, but still. So, I basically just told you this is a box that I've gotten from an auction. So this is one of my auction boxes. Um, I can't see the print as to how much I won the bid at, but total all in for shipping, the box, the premium fees, taxes, things of that nature was $430.94. This is more than I would like to pay for an auction box, especially an electronic box or in general. I feel like sometimes I'm not on that level of spending that much on the box, especially when I don't know what's inside. I don't know, you know, if they're in good condition, used condition, broken or anything like that. So I took a chance and let's hope it works out for the best. So it's 79 items in this box and I calculate to be, calculated that to be $4.45 per item. Like I mentioned before, it is a manifested box. So that means there's a list of the things that are inside of this box. I usually just glance at it initially to see that it's something I want to bid on in the first place. And after I glance at it, then I decide, okay, this is what I want to bid on. And I don't look at the manifested list again until I'm doing the unboxing or really actually afterwards when I'm posting the items and I want to kind of see what the retail price is for them. Okay, so here we go. I did un tape it and everything like that cut it open so i don't have to do that right now so one oh yeah got if you're new to this channel i'm a part-time reseller selling on ebay poshmark and macari please think about hitting that notification bell and the like button and all that good stuff so that you can be subscribed to the channel and see when i post more videos like this if you're already subscribed thank you for coming back and checking out what i have inside here i'm hoping this is a good one i gotta make some money so let's see let's see let's see let's see okay first on top also, this is a returns box. So that means that things can be in return condition, meaning a little bit ripped open, some tape on it. I've had a lot of my electronic returns boxes usually be in really good condition and they look more like shelf holes. So we'll see. It really varies. Then I've had some HBA boxes that were returns and they literally look like returns. So we'll see. Okay, so we have a charging cable here for an iPhone and for an iPad, it looks like a six feet one. This looks like a return. As you can see, it's kind of a little bit messed up. The wiring isn't in the correct way. So this looks like either a return or it just was messed up while inside of the store with people opening it and testing out and things like that. All right. This is a we switch a switch Nintendo Switch game. This is called Tokyo Mirage Sessions FE Encore pretty good. Another Switch game, Hades. Hmm, interesting. Uh, for Nintendo Switch as well. And Sealed. That other one was Sealed as well, I should mention. I like Sealed games because it makes it so that I can ask as close to full price as possible without them wanting to go to their competitors and things like that. But it helps when it's in good when it's used. I mean, when it's sealed and new like this, because it can be a gift for somebody, um, and they don't have to worry about if they're buying something that may be messed up when it's used and open. So there you go. Um, PlayStation Four, NBA Two K Twenty One, also sealed. Okay, it's two of these. Oh, it looks like it may be another one right here. Okay, so, so far, three of these. PS4, Sims game, The Sims 4 bundle, it says. Sims 4 and Island Living. And sealed. And it looks like there's three of these I have. Three. I've gotten Sims game in another box, but they were all for the PC. Um, so, this is interesting. 
PS4, another game, Doom Eternal. Not familiar with these games. So far, these aren't anything that I've gotten in other boxes. So, oh, here's it looked like it was over here. I just reached for it. Another Hades. Another Hades for the um, Switch. This is called Shadow of War. Um, PS4 game. Still sealed so far. And, you know, like I said, these are supposed to be returns. So it's pretty cool that even though these are categorized as returns, that they still are in really good condition. Here we have our um, other box phone case. This is for an iPhone 12 mini. And this looks like it's still in, it's still new sealed condition. Um, it seems like it, when it was in the store, it retailed for $49.99. Then it went on clearance. Um, and $14.99 is what the clearance sticker says there. Here is another other box with the pop attached to it for an iPhone 12 mini as well. I'm not familiar with iPhone, so I don't, this, I don't know how recent, how new this phone is. And if somebody would be looking for a phone case like this, who knows? So it's another one. Um, this was on clearance for $17.99. Looks like it's a couple. Here's another one just like that one. Here's one like that other one here, the um, like the first one I showed you. Okay, so it looks like a couple of these bad boys in here. Like I said, I don't remember. I know that this is a good brand, so even if I saw there was duplicates, I probably was okay with it because I know that I've sold this phone case before and they've all sold. So, and they all seem like they're iPhone 12 mini. So that makes me wonder about that phone. <laughs> Here's another one, iPhone 12 mini. This is a Kate Spade phone case for iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone XS slash X. Kate Spade. Okay. A couple of phone cases here. I'm seeing, I'm seeing another phone case like that other one, I think, um, iPhone 13, this is a clear one. These aren't, I don't think, something that's really sturdy. I think it's just, it doesn't feel like it is. It feels like it's mostly like, oh no, it's, it's hard plastic. I thought it was like those rubbery ones that's really just for show and not necessarily can protect your phone from a fall. I don't know. This is Heyday, which is a Target brand. Okay, and I'm sure I didn't mention that this is a Target box. So everything in here is from Target. Here we have a iPad um folio it says for 2019 to 2021 ipads it doesn't say like the um why is this like this it doesn't say which one you know which number one something's going on with it anyway that doesn't matter all righty another one of those um out of box phones with the with the pop it attached to it which is good because I know when I put those on my phones, they never stay on. We don't use them a lot, but we've definitely, all of the people in this house have phones, have gone through more than one, maybe even two. Another phone case here um, for iPhone 13. This looks like a True Returns 2 because of the condition it's in. Or maybe it just got some wear and tear in the store. Um, this is No More Heroes 3 for the Switch. Not familiar with this game. But it's new and sealed. Um, Balan Wonderworld, PS4. I don't know what game this is. I've never heard of this. But then I don't know all the games anyway. So, <laughs> um, A phone. Is this one of those ones? With, I don't know. It's not. The other part isn't there. But this is a phone case. So I don't know what it goes to because I don't. It's not in the box. But. That may end up being like a yard sale item. Here we have a watch band for um, like Apple watches. It says the, I can't see it. I'm sorry. I can't see. This is like it is a new condition. Here's a band, a replacement band for iPhone. I mean, a uh, Apple watch. Okay, we have, and I've had a couple of this before. Um, and they've all sold at yard sales and, and online. Um, Turtle Beach. Recon 70 wired headphones. 
This is for Xbox. This is the Xbox one. I've had some that's for like different games, but that one's for Xbox. What is this here? What is this? This is what? A wireless charging stand. This is a wireless charging stand, but it's like a Teams version. And so this is for, it says Georgia. I don't know if this is a football team or a what sport this is for, but it's a charging charging thing. And I'm sure this is for iPhone because the iPhones usually the ones that have that magnetic thing on the back. But yeah, here you go. That's interesting. I've never gotten up like that before. Um, these are earbuds, mic and remote earbuds. Heyday, Target brand. Oh, I've gotten this in a box before, and I haven't sold any of them. I'm not sure. I gotta. I'm gonna probably gonna check back. Um, I think it's called what is it? Sicario. Um, it's a Blu-ray, I believe. This is Blu-ray. Yeah, Blu-ray sealed. I don't. I've never heard of this movie, but I have like about four or five of them and I haven't sold any. This is called A-Rod Zombie Film 31. Blu-ray as well, sealed. Never heard of this. Lost Judgment PS4. So far so good guys, a lot of games. Um, this is a duplicate. Okay, the Balan, what I said was Balan Wonder World for the PS4. So this is the second one of that so far. So far, as far as duplicates, I've gotten two, I think, of the Hades for the Switch, three of the Sims, and then two of the Balan Wonder World. Here is number three of the Balan Wonder World. And here is another Sims, number four of the Sims. Okay, that's fine though. This is called Tom Casey's Rainbow Six Extraction, PS, PS5, PS5. Another um, Sims game for the PS4. We'll probably end up keeping one of these. Um, we have a PS4 here, and my um, daughter likes that game. But, ooh. Two more, so there's a good amount of these. So far, we at what? Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. See, now that's more than I would like, kind of, technically, you know? That's more than I would like. We have, since they together, I took them out together. Um, Village. I think I have one of these already. Um, for PS4. So there's two of these. One has a sticker on it, because it says, this one says also includes reverse so i'm not sure if that means this one doesn't or what but there we go ps4 uh what is this this is seal fire emblem three houses for the nintendo for nintendo switch i was gonna say ds okay another fire emblem emblem for the switch um, iPhone 13 phone case, like that other one, a clear one like the other one. Looks like there's a couple of these things I'm coming across here. So let's see what this is. It says multi-charging hub. So it is to charge USB stuff. There's four in there. And so one of the things about this that I see on the back is that it has five dollars on it this makes me you know how target has that section right in the front of their stores where they have like stuff for a dollar three dollars five dollars i wonder if this is something that was in the front up there so granted it has the five dollars on it which means it's going to be hard to sell online for the five dollars but that's okay that's okay and there's a couple in here from what i can see so one two Okay, I'm not going to take them all out. So this looks like, so that was three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. And there's another eight over there. So 16 in total, there's 16 of these things. These are things that we can use. So I'll probably give them to, I wonder how they plug up. Do they plug up to the wall? Because this is something that we can take like when we go on our cruises and stuff like that. Like how the cabins usually just have the one socket. 
this would be good because everybody can charge this stuff and not be like, take your phone out or whatever. So there you go. So 16 of those bad boys. Here we have um, Team Sonic Racing for the PS4. This is, I think I have one of these in, already. I said um, No More Heroes 3 for the Nintendo Switch. This is some Heyday headphones. These look like returns if you look at how the wiring is in there. Um, yeah, so these are probably, I mean, clearly they're wired. So yeah, these are maybe for like a gaming console. I'm not sure what you can, oh, these are like ones that you would use to listen to music on your on your phone or something. Here's another one that's different than that one. It's also by Heyday, but this one is a One Air wireless headset. So this looks like this is something that could be for a game. It looks a little bit, um, the box is a little bit beat up. But inside, the thing still looks like, in, well, this probably is a return because clearly that paper doesn't belong right there. So that's that. Um, a charging cable for iPhone and iPad. Um, this is a four feet one. Looks like a return if you can see there. Another watch band for the Apple Watch. I don't know if this is the same, um, you know, dimensions or whatever as the other one. This one looks like 38 to 41. This one also 38 to 41. Okay. This is, oh, this is nice. Another Kate Spade phone case. This is for iPhone 12 mini. This is nice. This looks like a returns of some sort too, because of maybe they got the wrong size phone case. Another um, wired um, Turtle Beach headset for Xbox. This um, Days Gone for the PS4. Another one of these, um, Rainbow Six Extraction, the Tom Clancy PS5. That's the second one of that one. PS4, Madden 22. Oh, I think, I mean, we're still in 22, so this may be a, something that people may want to buy. Okay, another Wonder Balloon. Another Wonder Balloon. PS4. I don't know what this is. Something Disney, Kingdom something, I don't know. Two more of these shadow games here. A phone case, spec. Oh, look at this, a phone, but it's just a single one. A cordless system phone. What do we have here? Another Kate Spade phone case. That looks nice. And this is a Kate Spade um, um, AirPods um, case. Only a couple more items. Oh, it's two of these here. These are wireless fast charging um, vent mounds for your car. Two of those. And the last item is... I don't know what this is because the sticker's over, but it's like wireless. It says wireless, look like part word receiver. I don't know what you do with it. Something with the phone, Bluetooth. Sorry if it's a little blurry because I feel like it's blurry, but yeah, there you go. So that is it, guys. That's there you have it. This is all the contents. I feel like this was a good box. You know, I, I mean, the shipping sometimes is a lot more. So I mean, I paid four thirty four with everything included. But I think, I think this is a good box. Hopefully these things sell and sell fast because it's Christmas coming up, holidays, and so people will be looking for stuff. I always price my stuff slightly under what they can get it for at the store or maybe a little bit more than under what they can get it for the store because I don't want to keep this stuff. I want it to sell. I want to make the money. So there you have it. $5.45 per item, 79 items. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Take care. Bye.